limitation of force to be applied. This is number two. So, no violence or sorry, force shall be used in making an arrest. And a person to be arrested shall not be subjected to any restraint greater than what is necessary under the circumstances. So, this is under the revised rules of criminal procedure, rule 113, section 2. So, as an arresting officer, you must exert rationality and proportionality in arresting a person. So, if a person uh, to be arrested resists, the arrester or the arresting person or the arresting police officer may employ methods proportionate or equal to the resistance made. Okay? Again, do not use unnecessary force. If you will use force, dapat proportionate or equal to the resistance uh, made. Okay? So, if significant force is exerted by the arresting or the arresting officer physically found it difficult to uh, arrest the person because said person is resisting arrest to the point of intentional resistance. Na. So, you can charge, as a police officer, you can charge the arresting uh, for the crime of resistance and disobedience to a person in authority or the agents of such person under Article 151 of the Revised Penal Code. Okay, so if na commit theft, okay, or illegal possession of firearms, plus imong plasan siya of resistance and disobedience to a person authority or alias of such person under Article 151. So, bali two crimes na ang nakumit sa uh, arresti. But if the arresti okay, calmly cooperates with the arrestor, there is no need to exert force. Wait, wala na, di cooperate naman ang, if ang person to be arrested. Again, should always remember that Force and violence is not required in arresting a person unless uh, it is called for, unless it is needed. But if not needed, no violence or unnecessary force shall be applied. Okay? And also, as an arresting officer, you must observe uh, the following. First, okay? When you will arrest a person, dapat nung paila ka, you introduce yourself as an arresting person and you state your authority to arrest. Whether you are a member of the Philippine National Police, PIDEA, National Bureau of Investigation, yana. And also, your badge may also be uh, required to be presented. So, you may present mong badge, okay, sa arrest date. And you must be in proper uniform. And also, next, you must state the purpose of arrest. Okay, what you need state? Okay, para kabalo si arrest state o ano niyo siya di arrest. So state the purpose. That okay, I am arresting you, Mister Juan Diracruz, because I have a warrant against you for violation of R A nine two six two, or for violation of R A nine one six five. I am arresting you, Juan de la Cruz. Okay, future of a valid warrantless arrest because I caught you in the act of committing the crime of illegal gambling by violation of PD 1602. So after that, after uh, uh, after uh, informing him of the purpose of the arrest, the arrestee should be given an opportunity to submit to the authorities, peaceably. So, ikaw, arresting officer, yun siya katagag opportunity uh, na submit siya peacefully, name Okay, so, if masubmit siya peacefully, then no violence or any square force uh, should be used. Okay? And then, the arrestee must understand the purpose and intention of the arrest. And that, uh, he in that he or she do not submit and will resist 
uh, force will be used to compel him okay or her to submit okay so dapat din mo explain niya okay. if ever mo resist siya force will be used to compel him to submit or uh, kasuhan mo siya uh, resistance and disobedience to a person in authority or agents of such persons under the revised penal you know, code And also to take note, if private citizen ganit mo illegally arrest sa osaka tao, okay, that private person may be liable for the crime of unlawful arrest under uh, Article 269 of the Revised Penal Code. So ikaw, private citizen, imong arresto na osaka tao without legal grounds for the purpose of delivering that person to the Uh, proper authorities, you'll be held liable for lawful arrest. So, bantaya yung kasagad yung arrest-arrest eh, without grounds. Okay? And also, if a law enforcer uh, illegally arrest a person for the purpose of detention na, that law enforcer may be liable for arbitrary detention na po under Article 124 of the Revised Penal Goods. So, bantay-bantay. If you're a police officer without cause, okay, arrest a person for the purpose of detaining such person, you will be held liable for arbitrary detention. Okay, so dapat if you will arrest a person, dapat with warrant or with a valid warrant as arrest. Kung ano ko, in flagrant delicto, not person escape. Okay, otherwise arbitrary detention ka. And also. If naka-arrest ka, if you're a law, law enforcer, naka-arrest ka with valid grounds, ah, with a valid warrantless arrest, with a valid warrant of arrest, and you fail to deliver such person to the proper judicial authorities within, let's just say, uh, 12 hours for light penalties, uh, 18 hours for correctional uh, penalties, for, and 36 hours for afflictive penalties. Kanang, yung siyang i-fail uh, to deliver to the proper judicial authorities by means of filing an information. Diba? Once maka-arrest ka, if flagrant delict or warrant is arrest, i-inquest na yun na siya. Because, uh, if like, felonies ang nakumit na 12 hours ay gihatag sa batas ni mo. Otherwise, after that, you will violate Article 125 of the Revised Penal Code. So, ang imo yung button is to release that person. Otherwise, you will violate Article 125. So, dapat imo rin i-inquest. Then, si inquest prosecutor, mo issue na siya resolution of information. Then, i-file sa court, court pillar. So, muna i-gisulti sa batas ka na to deliver the person to the proper judicial authorities. It doesn't mean na ang uh, tao may deliver but the filing of the information in court. So, dapat i-inquest na yun because ang prosecutor may maka-issue of information, dili man ang police officer. So, i-inquest na yun na ni mo para si prosecutor maka-issue siya uh, resol- uh, inquest resolution and then uh, information to the court para ma-charge mo siya. Okay? Otherwise, again, if palagay lay ka, you will violate Article 125 of the Revised Penal Code. So, palo ka itong 12-18-36 rule under the revised penal code. Okay? Okay, next. How is an arrest made? Oh, for all. And a person to be arrested shall not be subjected to any restraint greater than what is necessary under the circumstances. So, huwag peaceful lang na pag-surrender sa, sa katawo. Of course, handcuffs lang. Dili pi. Sobraan nimo mo, duwa ka handcuffs, has a pilo ni mo ang tiil, pilo ni mo ang ulo, di ba? So, as long as necessary, right, the restraint should not be greater than what is necessary. Okay? Ayun na ba sobra eh? um, How is an arrest made? So, arrest is made by actual restraint of the person to be arrested. So, yung siyang takpon, actual restraint, then kusasan. Or by his submission. So, if uh, this pertains to voluntary surrender, by his submission to the custody of the person making the arrest. So, voluntary surrender, si uh, arrestee or the suspect sa police officers. And that will constitute 
uh, submission to the custom numbers of the Canadian arrest. And also, diba, it's a mitigating circumstances. It's a mitigating circumstance under the revised penal code. Okay, voluntary surrender. Aside from voluntary plea of guilt. Um, what does it mean when jurisprudence says that the officer in making the arrest must stand his ground? Worse, uh, it means that police officer may use such force as is reasonably necessary, as long as necessary, as long as proportionate to the force uh, exerted by the arrestee to effect arrest. So, do not use unnecessary force. Okay, force that is reasonably necessary to effect arrest. So, time of making an arrest, of course, 24-7. So, arrest can be made on any day of the week. Saturday, Sunday, okay? And at any time of the day or, or night, okay? So, that's the time of making an arrest. Um, if the accused is already in detention, by which of the warrant of arrest, a return warrant together with required documents shall be made for and is standing warrants of arrest issued after service. Okay, so required or return. So, what is return of warrant? So, a return of warrant of arrest of a person by the officer to whom it was given for service, meaning substantially all that the officer did within the scope of proper execution. Okay, so this is an example of a return warrant. So, respectfully, return the attached warrant of arrest, criminal case number 1 for violation of RA-9165, issued by the Honorable Court on January Black, with the information that the accused was arrested by the elements of this unit led by PO1 de la Cruz inside the residence of uh, Mariano Gutib. Arrested person was apprised of his constitutional rights during the arrest and then brought to the blank for documentation and proper disposition. It was referred to the PNP Crime Lab for physical and medical examination and subsequently turned over to the blank for temporary commitment. Pending the issuance of a commitment order by the Honorable Court. Okay, so inclusions for the return of warrant. You must include also the warrant of arrest. Katong warrant of arrest. Yan ani mo. Then the booking sheets, uh, request for physical exam, uh, request for temporary commitment, and then photo of accused. Okay, so muna yung important to uh, yeah, include ni mo sa return of warrant. Mga inclusions, mga annexes, annex A, B, C, D, E. Okay? Um, who are exempt from arrest? So, a senator or member of the House of Reps uh, shall, in all offenses, punishable by not more than six years of imprisonment, be privileged from arrest while the Congress is in session. So, question, can a senator or congressman be arrested if he commits an offense not punishable by more than six years but not attending during session? Hmm, not punishable. Is he still exempt from arrest? Is a senator a member of the House of Representatives or Congressman uh, be exempt from arrest? So the answer is no, he cannot be arrested. Uh, in the case of people of the Philippines versus Salisas, the court provides that. As long as Congress is in session, whether the incumbent congressman is attending or assembly, he shall be immune from arrest. So immune na Japan, si senator and congressman in the uh, example. Why? Even if not attending session, according to people versus Salusos, uh, the court provides that as long as Congress is in session, whether the incumbent congressman is attending or is upset therein, he shall be immune from arrest. So immune na Japan, like absent siya sa session. Okay, but if over six years na gani ang offense kanya na commit, you can definitely arrest him. Okay, um, immunity ras sa senator or congressman is for offenses punishable by not more than six years. So if more than six years, you can arrest him. Okay. 
So, who are exempt from arrest? Of course, exempted ang mga diplomatic agents na to and couriers nila. This is under the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. So, nasa like full immunity. Okay? And they are not liable to any form of arrest or detention. Okay? So, diplomatic agents under the Vienna Convention uh, are vested with blanket of immunity uh, from civil and criminal suits. Okay? So, they are immune from suit. They have blanket of immunity. Why? Because signatory mentals of Vienna Convention and when there's a treaty, uh, it should be complied with the That's pacta suit servanda. Pacta suit servanda. Meaning treaties must be complied with the Since that a treaty, in sign done, appeal done in a convention, of course, we must uh, respect Oh, kung say na dito. Therefore, if ever mga commit of crimes or mga diplomatic agents in your careers, katong mga heads of missions ba, or members of the diplomatic staff, they enjoy blanket of diplomatic immunity from civil and criminal suits. Um, now let's go to authority of the arresting officer when making arrest. So, a police officer making a local arrest may verbally summon as many persons as he or she deems necessary to assist him or her in effecting arrest. Of course, if David Nakahe is a police officer, if Shara Usa, uh, the said police officer can um, summon uh, private citizens to help him effecting the arrest. Okay? And it is satisfied. Uh, next. A police officer, in order to make an arrest with or without warrant, with warrant or without warrant, with valid warrant of arrest, may break into a building or enclosure where the person to be arrested is or is reasonably believed to be in. So, as I say, wala siya pasudila, nilak siya sa kapitan, sa kabalay, wala ko siya pasudila. So, na ay right si police officer to break into said building. Okay? As long as na siya reasonable grounds nga na as a salute uh, ang person to be arrested or he refuse siya admit as there too after announcing his or her authority. So na siya right to break into such house, building, or enclosure. Okay? And liable ba si police officer if ever iyang i-break o sulod siya forcibly yung gupon ang putahan, liable ba si police officer of malicious mischief? Ano, di ba? Malicious mischief that's punishable under the revised penal code. Willful destruction of property of another. The answer is no. Because a police officer uh, has the right to break into a building or in a chart okay, where the person to be arrested is or is reasonably believed in him. If he is refused at the times there, so di siya pasudlun ba? After announcing his authority, and purpose. So, di li reliable si police officer o malicious is chief and by the revised me ng good. Okay? Next, whenever a police officer has entered the building or enclosure to make an arrest, he or she may break out there from when necessary to liberate himself. Of course, once nakasunod na, uh, na po siya yung right to break out there from religion if he is run on religion sa Arresti, ito sa ilang balay, of course, na siya na yung right of this officer to liberate himself, to break out the from. Okay? Fourth, if a person lawfully arrested escapes or is rescued, any person may immediately pursue to retake him or her without a warrant at any time and in any place within the Philippines. Of course, na ay right niya po ng police officer to immediately pursue uh, without a warrant any escapees. Why? Because they are committing a crime naman. That's evasion of service of sentence. Okay? And that's punishable under the revised penal code. Okay? And also, if nakay nagdakpang tao niya, escape siya, uh, you can invoke doctrine of hot pursuit. Escape siya. 
Okay, as long as within the day, which is followed the uh, principle of immediacy, immediacy under the hot person doctrine. But if you can you just prisuhan, do the escape, okay? You can arrest him because that's a continuing offense of evasion of service of sentence. He's committing a crime. Okay, therefore, pursue him directly without a warrant.